example, I've used a zero fret. This is a good way to set the action. Um, it's quite simple to do using a piece of guitar fret wire here. Um, and the rest of the frets are actually banjo fretting, I think. Um, and this, and then I've just used a piece of bone at the end. This just guides the strings. You, this instrument also has uh, much thinner bindings now. I'm actually I've got the bindings down to about three and a half millimeters now. And this, this example also has the pickup, which I will show you in a minute how I installed that. Okay, what I've done, I've drilled a, a half inch hole through the towel block. I've followed this up using this thread cutter, which matches the thread on my Anderson end jack socket. You can see how we've enlarged the hole to about just under 14 millimeters so that it can slot over the, the jack socket. We've tightened up the Tighten up the jack socket using a, uh, you can use a, um, a coin that fits in the end to tighten it up. It needs to be as tight as you can go without overstressing the wood. So it's very, very tight. So here we have the, the pickup in place and the very simple wiring. Now, Using the registry, using the holes. Now, using the hole on this side and the hole up here, we can now replace the back very carefully. Uh, and using the registry pins, we're going to re glue the back and then we're going to put the bindings on. Once you've attached a pickup and you've soldered it to the jack socket, you must check, that, first of all, that it works using, uh, I've got a headphone amp here just to make sure, just to make sure that the, you're getting a, a, sig a clear signal through there. And the this is a very fine instrument. All the features and details on that.